YouTubers, hello YouTuber, we're gonna make uh, we make Carmel's rule. We're gonna program now. Let's get into it. Okay, so are you okay, guys? Okay, you're okay. So now let's see what's happening here. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Okay, you can create a a um a a a file called that m caramels rule that m and the way you do it you say edit type it edit and you say test one or something like that right um, my first uh, file, something like that, right? And say you want to create another file. You want to create it. You say yes, right? Then it's give you that M. You say save, and then you get this window like that. It's here where you type your code. So we're gonna do the same. Uh, the same comes as rule but we're going to program this time so this will be part two so let me open it so i already did something um i call it kermel's rule that m and i say d enter input of coefficients of the matrix right and then b is enter source vector And then n is going to be equals to the length of b. So depending on how big is uh, the vector. So if it's 3 or 4 or 5, this will take uh, i and that will be to n. And then uh, we initialize a vector I call it di. And the i is because we're going to be in the loop. So uh, I call it zeros. Uh, we're going to fill out zeros in this uh, array in the first column. Uh, so it's going to be whatever length. If this is 3, it's going to be 3 zeros. If it's 5, it's going to be 5 zeros. Uh, 6 it will be 6 zeros in column 1, right? And then we say D equals the determinant of, of D, right? And we keep uh, um, the the original, wherever the coefficient will keep an original, and this will go work as long as um, the determinant of t is not equal to zero. If it's not equal to zero, then it's going to do this part of the code. If it's zero, then uh, it's not applicable, right? So then it will be else this part of the code. Common rule is not applicable for that practice, right? If it's zero. If it's not zero, then do this, right? Then we say you can say I or J, right? I pick I. But you could say J here. You can pick J if you want J. Right? We can change to J if you want J, right, right. So we're gonna do as as long as the whatever the n is, right. So if it's three, it's gonna go one, two, three. So it's gonna be three, and it's gonna replace three times in the column, right, in the column. Whatever that column, if it's the first column. Well, the first time it goes through a loop, it's going to do in the first column. Then the second time it goes in the loop, it's going to be in the second column. The third time it's going to loop, it's going to be in the third column. If and if it if it's four, then it's a four, right? So it keeps going as 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 long as whatever n is, right? 
uh, and n was here it was the length of b whatever b is that's entered by the user right so and then we say um it was j equal to the determinant of, of t divided by lowercase d right so we already calculated that here so keeps the original then d is the original and then n4 then we print all solution using printf i use the printf and the display you know i was trying out different capabilities of this software and over here you see this statement here i tried to make it like d1 d2 together but i couldn't get it together you'll see how it shows up it's something they gotta work on it but okay so this is it everything let's save save file and now we can uh, do the run from here you can click run right and it will show here enter your coefficient so uh, this you gotta be careful you gotta put square bracket square bracket one 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 semicolon and the second column one minus one one semicolon then the second one is two one one right close bracket is that correct let's see so this is a one here let's make it obvious right one 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 usually it's not written but it's assumed that you know that it's a one there so that's where we're getting this coefficient from here one 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 and the second one is one minus one and one right and then this one is two one and one so now it's obvious right okay so now you enter and now the vector source will be this right two minus two and one so you square brackets you say two semicolon minus two semicolon one close square bracket and here is our answer right so this is what I was telling you about d1 d2 and d3 so this is d1 or d of x this is d of y or d2 and d3 or dz or d3 right it's one um, so that'll be our solution using the program that's what I have for that and but I like the other way when I did it the first time but this is uh, another way by getting the you know using the M files um, that's it thank you for watching subscribe give it a thumbs up whatever <laughs>